All right, it's um, 4 p.m. Scotland time, which means it's uh, almost completely dark outside. Uh, I'm Sean McGiven. I'm the uh, discussion backend team lead. Um, and this is what my team has been doing for the last five weeks. Um, just before I share my screen, someone mentioned on the blog that uh, sometimes my microphone hits my sweatshirt. So I've got an air gap at the moment, but if anybody could tell me in the chat if that's happening, that would be appreciated because um, I don't want to do that. Uh, right. So uh, in this has actually been six weeks since my last update because I swapped with Dower last week. So um, in 10.1 and 10.2, um, I'm going to talk about some significant features. Um, we have uh, commenting on image diffs, which is a really, 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 really cool feature. Um, now it's not just restricted to text that you can comment on, but also pictures in your mode requests, which makes it much nicer to um, you know, review designs, but also just like, you know, screenshots or documentation images, you can um, take a look there. Um, we have lock, uh, locking for issues and merge requests to make it so that only team members can comment, um, which is quite nice for open source projects as well. I don't think this is um, so useful for internal uh, projects, but certainly for open source projects, that's a really useful feature. And um, in 10.2, we have save board configuration, which is um, uh, just a really cool feature as well. Um, it means that instead of just having a milestone saved to a board, um, you can have um, labels and other filters saved as well. So um, it's much easier to share that board with other people. Um, also in 10.2, we are doing the first iteration of epics. Um, at GitLab, we iterate on things um, and we take that quite seriously, which means that the first iteration of Epix um, will still be missing a lot of um, features that we will add in future, but we want to get something out there and get it um, in front of people and start using it ourselves as well. Um, essentially, these will hopefully replace the meta issues that we've been using, where we just collect a bunch of issue links and put them inside an issue um, and give that a more um, more of a first class feeling within GitLab itself. Um, these exist uh, at the moment, not at project level, but only at group level. Um, and these are part of the portfolio management we're working on in uh, GitLab Enterprise Edition Ultimate, um, where we're gonna add other features on top of these um, for higher level uh, planning in future. Um, we had some team changes uh, since last time. Um, Douglas has been on the Geo team um, since like February, um, but is now officially full-time permanently on the Geo team. And uh, Valerie has also joined him. Um, we have one person joining already at the start of December um, and we're hiring for another. So if anybody knows anybody who's awesome, please feel free to refer them. Um, we already have some, uh, some good candidates in the pipeline. Um, there are some immediate consequences to this just because um, we have fewer people right now, um, which is that we can't do the Rails 5 upgrade in 10.3 when we wanted to. Um, we'll take a look for 10.4 and see if we have capacity for that, but otherwise it might be the start of next year before we can get that finally finished. Um, and Elasticsearch improvements as well. Um, that will take a lot of effort and, um, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing that we should you know, really focus on and do it right um, when we do it. So um, we're going to put that to one side for the time being. Uh, in 10.3, um, we've got some cool features as well. Um, this has been requested for a very long time. Um, but basically, at the moment, if you add a comment on a commit, and that commits part of a merge request, you can see the comment in the merge request. But then if you force push to that merge request so that the commit is no longer part of the merge request, the comment goes away. So for people, um, for the GitLab workflow like that we use, this is not a problem. We don't really comment on commits. We comment on the merge request um, diff as a whole. But a lot of people use commit work, uh, commit review workflow where they comment on commits uh, individually. And it's really frustrating to them if they're also rebasing or amending those commits that um, you know those comments disappear. So we're adding um, the ability to make those comments tied to the merge request as well as the commit so that we can um, keep them and make them resolvable within the context of the merge request. Um, we're doing a lot more work on epics and portfolio management. Um, 
We are adding some specs in GitLab QA for things that are hard to test in the main application itself. So GitLab QA is a separate project that can um, do, uh, I guess, black box testing this, of a uh, GitLab instance. Um, so uh, the reason protected branches are tricky, for instance, is because um, there's a lot of moving parts when you actually make a commit. Um, either from the web UI or from a just you know pushing from your command line, and we you know within the the Rails application we don't have all those parts available, so we have to mock them out. And if we mock them out, obviously we're not actually testing the full flow, so it's really important to get that in GitLab QA. Um, and then the final thing is uh, my pet project, which I've been working on for uh, probably over six months now, on and off, which is to um change the schema of how we store changes in merge requests to make it um better it's uh <laughs> it's it's um i'm hoping to get that finished in 10.3 on gitlab.com it's pretty much done so we just need to make sure that it works for other instances as well but um we have a lot of data to migrate so i'm pretty sure that other instances will be fine too and once that's done um that sort of solves a lot of or help solve a lot of performance problems we had but also unlocks some features that we could add in future um, to actually introspect like how big merge requests are um, which was completely impossible before um, so that's all i got um, i'm gonna stop sharing my screen um, i don't see anything in the chat so hopefully the air gap worked um, if anybody has any questions, I'm going to give you 30 seconds by my phone's uh, stopwatch. So um, ask if you want. Otherwise, um, you just got to wait a few more seconds. Yes, Barbie says nice and concise. I think if you add together the total time of all my functional group updates, I'm, you know, <laughs> it's, just, it's probably pretty low still. I don't. I don't believe in. Uh, in. I, I'm just not very interesting, and I can't talk for very long without feeling incredibly self-conscious. Is is basically it. Um, so that's thirty seconds. Um, have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you on the team call.